Assalamu alaikum. In the first part of this lecture, we have discussed mathematical modeling of electrical circuits. In this part, we shall talk about mathematical modeling of electronic systems. The approach to obtain mathematical model for electronic systems is the same as that for electrical circuits. The only difference, the only new thing is electronic components, for example, an operational amplifier. Let's take uh, a simple example of electronic system shown in the figure. We want to obtain a transfer function between the output voltage V0 and the input voltage Vi. You remember that an ideal operational amplifier has infinite input impedance and infinite gain, which implies that voltage at both the inverting input and non-inverting input is the same. Applying Kirchhoff's current law at the inverting input node, current entering into the node is equal to the current leaving the node. Since op-amp has infinite input impedance, therefore current IA is equal to zero. Thus, current I1 plus I2 is equal to zero. R equivalently, I1 is equal to minus I2. Furthermore, R1 is equal to Vi divided by Z1 and I2 is equal to V0 divided by Z2. Therefore, first equation on this slide becomes V0 of S over Z2 of S is equal to minus vi of s over z1 of s which can be rearranged to uh, write as v0 of s over vi of s is equal to minus z2 of s over z1 which is the transfer function for electronic circuit shown in the figure on this slide so as a homework you are uh, required to obtain the transfer function for electronic circuit shown in the figure on this slide. Uh, to summarize today's discussion, we have revisited our understanding on modeling of electrical and electronic systems. In the next lecture, we shall talk about mathematical modeling of mechanical systems.